So I have this run-of-the-mill regular old sewing box. Um, I think I picked it up at my local fabric plan, um, which is a fabric store here in um, Canada, or in Ontario, I should say, because it is um, unique to Ontario. Um, and it's just, just a regular old, um, you know, sort of poofy cardboard box, basically. Um, and it's got a handle um, and then the lid, which I just realized is backwards, um, and just a little um, magnetic um, closure, which I've lost the front of um, somewhere. Um, and the inside, which I've already started taking apart, as you can see, um, is very ugly yellow, uh, very bright and very icky. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have much choice when I got it at the time. So I am going to make it over. Um, I've already taken out um, this part was this rick racky um, icky stuff. Um, so I've just taken that off. Um, it was just around the front there, um, around the edges, um, and it was just glued on. So it was very just an easy peel. Um, there was a little um, elastic, not a bag, but a, you know, there's the remnants of it. Um, little holder, little fabric holder there with an elastic. There was also a little pincushion, which I've already made over the pincushion. Um, I just took the base of it and recovered it. Um, so that's it there. Um, I'm going to go with a pink and a gray scheme because I like those colors. And I also have um, a big chunk of nice pinky fabric with some grays and some blacks and some whites and some pinks and reds. So. Um, I can do a lot of color choices with that. So I think uh, this is going to be, an, well, I know um, this is going to be an ongoing project. Um, like I said, I'm going to start with this part first, and then eventually I'm going to move inside um, and do recover it, make some changes, um, and then eventually I'd probably change the outside as well um, and probably recover the handle. So um, anyway, this is just my first initial video. Um, introducing my project. So, thank you.